guys, this is Dr. Kelsey, and uh, we've got Leia here, and Chewy is behind the camera. He might swing by here and say hi, I don't know. But these guys are dachshunds, and um, we are talking about dachshunds this month in September, and I want to talk to, to you about one of the biggest things that we see in dachshunds, which is back problems. And I should mention to neck problems, but back and neck problems, uh, specifically mentioning about discs. So, um, you know, these guys are longer, right? Uh, their little vertebra, you know, a good question people have sometimes is do they have more vertebra down here in the lumbar spine than other dogs? The answer is no, they really don't. Or, no, they don't. And, uh, but they are a little bit longer, and of course they have the shorty, short legs and stuff. But dachshunds can get ruptured discs uh, a good bit more often than other breeds, okay? They are longer, they're shorter. Um, things that can precipitate it is, you know, most dachshunds unfortunately like to jump. Jumping off the couch, jumping on the bed, jumping off the stairs, uh, and as well, obesity. So those are the two things probably that, that really play a big role in the dachshund backs. And so I want to show you, this is actually a model, you may lose Leia here out of the sight, but um, this is a model of the back. and. These are the, so if you look here, the, the uh, metal rod, oh, here's Chewy. You have to check it out, the bone, he thinks. Uh, this metal rod represents the, di or I'm sorry, the uh, spinal cord, okay? And then on the, uh, in between each vertebra is the disc. And the discs have two layers. There's kind of the outer fibrous kind of cord. And the inside, there is like, a, it's kind of like a jelly-filled donut. And that jelly-filled donut, as you can tell here in this kind of grayish zone, you know, if, if they bend wrong, flip, you know, jump, that disc can extrude or protrude through and actually put pressure on the cord, okay? And then everything back behind that becomes affected. Their ability to go to the bathroom, their ability to walk, uh, their sensation of feeling down their legs. Just like people, you probably know of people, maybe you've had a problem in your neck or uh, your back. Uh, I myself personally have, and I can tell you it's not a lot of fun. But these guys can have that um, acutely. Sometimes it can be like that. Sometimes it can be a little slower, insidious, um, kind of chronic. And uh, that is a big problem. So if your dog sits down in the back end, not walking, uh, or even kind of wobbly, it is definitely enough time to get them checked out. So uh, those are things to be on the lookout for for dogs with ruptured disc. And just be careful when you do have a dachshund. Again, I'm Dr. Kelsey. This is Kelsey Canine. And uh, Chewy and Leia here, subscribe if you like our channel.